This is TechZG News with all the latest information about the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha and the Mi 9 Pro 5G. But before we get into those two devices, let's quickly touch on the Oppo Reno Ace, which has had some specs confirmed by Oppo themselves today. Yet another device for the Reno lineup of phones from Oppo. The Reno Ace is going to be launched on the 10th of October. It will feature their brand new 65 watt fast charging solution. That's wired charging. There's still no talk of any wireless charging whatsoever in that device. Oppo also confirmed it will be using the very latest processor, the Snapdragon 855 Plus. And also this one will be coming with a 90 hertz display. And according to the renders released by Oppo themselves, it will have a water drop notch too. If this sounds awfully familiar to you, then yes, it does sound very, very similar to the OnePlus 7T. Considering OnePlus and Oppo are the same company, it makes sense that they're gonna release two very similar phones. Xiaomi will tomorrow launch two new phones and Mi UI 11. So first coming to the Mi 9 Pro 5G, which is a real device, and it will be launched tomorrow, going on sale very shortly after that. We know already it's getting 40 watt fast wire charging, 30 watt wireless charging, 10 watt reverse charging, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and a Snapdragon 855 Plus, yet another improvement. Xiaomi have also said this phone is coming with a brand new Taptic engine inside, a horizontal stepping motor, apparently as Xiaomi say, one of the best for Android, although we'll have to test that out when we actually see the device. But it's good they're working on things like that and not just the headline specs. An improved speaker box as well, which is a good thing. It does look to only still be a mono speaker though. Xiaomi have themselves published battery test results. It shows the Mi 9 Pro versus the Mi 9, and it shows an improvement across the board as is to be expected considering there's a bigger battery in there. But it's good to know considering the Mi 9 is only 5G. 5G phones will take up more battery, so it's good to know that overall you are getting much better battery life out of the Mi 9 Pro. Lei Jun came out and said that the Mi 9 Pro 5G only has 5G. There is no 4G model, and so if you want a 4G phone, maybe look at the Redmi K20 Pro. So it now makes sense why Redmi suddenly came out with an improved Redmi K20 Pro Exclusive Edition with a list of bumped up specs, but the 4G modem inside. According to these leaks, the 8 plus 128 version will be selling at about 3,600 RMB, and the 12 plus 256 version selling at 4,000 RMB. To put that in context, the Xiaomi Mi 9 at the start of the year had a starting price for the low variant of 3000 RMB. So a little price hike, but considering it's a 5G phone and all of the other improvements, I would say Xiaomi have done a pretty good job keeping the price down. Although these are only leaked prices and we'll have to wait for the actual prices they give us tomorrow. The Mi Mix Alpha has had a lot more details revealed. Xiaomi have repeatedly called this a concept phone. However, they've also released a lot of specific information about the phone that leads me to think that it is actually coming at some point down the line. Xiaomi have said it is not a folding phone, but they released pictures of a screen that folds all the way around the device. They've also said that the phone has a 100% screen to body ratio, and they have released two separate pictures of the phone in amongst a bookcase. In one of the pictures, the screen goes completely the way around the device. In the other picture, the screen actually stops about three quarters of the way around the phone. This leads credence to the renders that have shown essentially an all display smartphone with a strip going down the back of the device that holds the camera units. Xiaomi also released a poster saying, what is your preferred design for the front selfie camera? Water drop, punch hole, bullet hole, and then it questions or something else. Inferring that they don't use any of those and using a screen on the back of the phone so that you never have to use a selfie camera at all. The screen could also be used in different ways. For example, if you're playing a game or you're watching a video, you can have a separate app open on the back panel. You can send messages, talk to friends or look at something else without disrupting the game or the video that you're watching. But still, this is a concept. Xiaomi have said so themselves, so don't expect 
any devices to be released for sale tomorrow. Xiaomi also released pictures from the 100 megapixel smartphone that they've been working on. They also said this is coming in the Mix Alpha. So they've repeatedly said it's a concept phone, but they're showing us specific specifications and camera units in the phone. And let's not forget Mi UI 11 is also going to be released tomorrow with a host of upgrades and improvements. So much so that the launch event is expected to be two hours long. Subscribe if you wanna see more information about that launch event, I'll be covering it. But anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.